What is a grapheme? This is a tutorial from Phonic Books. A grapheme is a spelling. A grapheme is a symbol, letter, or a combination of symbols or letters that represent a sound in a word. A simpler way to explain it is a grapheme is a spelling of a sound in a word. In this tutorial I will use both terms, grapheme and spelling. The origin of the word grapheme comes from the Greek word graphema, which means letter. Graphemes spell sounds in words. As graphemes spell sounds in words, in order to identify them, we need to break up the word into its sounds. These are called phonemes. Breaking up the word in this way is called segmenting. Here is the word mat. When I segment it into its sounds, it will sound like this. M, A, T. The word mat has three sounds which are spelled by three letters. Each grapheme is a one-letter grapheme. A complex phonic code. So far, so good. The problem is that English has a complex phonic code. Graphemes can consist of one to four letters. This makes it a difficult language to learn to read and spell. Graphemes with two letters. Here is an example of a two letter grapheme. Take the word shop. If you segment it into sounds, you get sh o p. The grapheme for the sound sh has two letters, S and H. It is a two-letter grapheme, also called a digraph. Graphemes with two letters. Here are some more examples. Take the word keep and segment it into sounds and you get k, e, p. Take the word day and segment it and you get d, a. Take the word snow and segment it into sounds and you get s, n, o. graphemes with three letters. Here are some examples of three letter graphemes. Take the word night and segment it and you get n, i, t. The word fair and segment it f, air. The word hedge and segment it h, e, Graphemes with four letters. Here are some examples of four letter graphemes. Let's take the word wait. W, A, T. Do, D, O. Daughter, d, or, t, er. Why we need to teach graphemes. We need to teach graphemes so that children recognize them when they need to decode an unfamiliar word. For example, when they see the word boat, they need to know that the grapheme OA is a two-letter grapheme that spells the sound O. Then they can blend the sounds together like this B O T Boat
one grapheme can spell different sounds. Learning to read in English is difficult because many graphemes can spell different sounds. For example, the grapheme EA spells three different sounds. In the word head, EA spells the sound E. In the word great, EA spells the sound A. In the word meat, EA spells the sound E. Graphemes and spelling. When children learn to spell, they need to sound out the phonemes in a word and write a grapheme for each sound. This is difficult as sounds in English can be spelled in different ways. For example, the sound A is spelled with different graphemes in these words say, rain, came, table, break, pray, way, and veil. Is it rain or rain? Children need to learn the alternative spellings for sounds in words so that when they spell a word they are able to choose the correct spelling alternative. For example, choosing the spelling rain with AI and not rain with A split E. This process takes time and a great deal of practice. This is why becoming a proficient speller in English takes longer than in other languages. learning graphemes in a systematic way. The most effective way to teach graphemes is in a systematic way starting from simple graphemes to the more complex ones. This is one of the underlying principles of synthetic phonics. Find out more about synthetic phonics. If you would like to find out more about graphemes, phonemes, synthetic phonics and phonic reading books, visit www.phonicbooks.co.uk and click on Teaching Tools.